Cupping is really effective for relaxing muscles, breaking up scar tissue, and um, preventing stagnation of blood flow. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and use the cupper here on Randy. And um, this was originally used in uh, Chinese medicine to help um, remove uh, stagnation and stimulate flow or energy. Um, there is some evidence that it can break up scar tissue and it can draw toxins uh, and imperfections in the bloodstream up to the surface uh, where we have more of a dense population of capillaries and the blood can flow easier. Uh, it helps to loosen uh, myofascial muscles, tight muscles, helps to relax the muscles, um, and uh, helps to uh, reduce inflammation. There's certain contraindications to using cupping. He has none of them, otherwise we wouldn't do it. But here we're going to go ahead and demonst demonstrate the cupper. Um, this is an automatic cupper, great for home use. Now he has a hiatal hernia, so we're going to focus on the muscles right around his diaphragm. And I'm just going to go ahead and press this center button for three seconds. And there we go, it's already starting. And what I'm going to do is, so it doesn't fall, I'm going to go ahead and clip this here under his underwear. So in case it falls off, we've got it anchored here. You don't want it falling on the ground, it could break. Okay, and I'm going to change the setting here. You doing okay there? It's nope. going to pinch the skin a little bit, but it's not going to be that bad. Yep. Really, really mild on a 1 to 10 scale, maybe a, a 1 of uncomfortableness. Okay there? So it's not going to be bad, all right? Yep. Let me know if you're having any problems. And you'll see here there's a red light on. This red light, we're going to intensify it. That's um, just going to also help to reduce inflammation more on the surface of the skin, okay? So this is, again, really helpful for loosening up connective tissue and he's got a lot of tight muscles here across the diaphragmatic area and in the upper back so just hang out watch that and you can see how it, it does a deep suction and then a release a deep suction and a release And you can see right here is the light button. And it's got three bars here. We can press the fourth bar. And then as you can see here, the M controls the suction modes. There's three green lights there. That means it's on the third. The fourth is continuous. Um, and this will shut off automatically after 12 minutes. So, and then you can see the red light therapy going on while it's doing a deep suction and then a release. All right, so now when this cup is done, it just kind of does a little jingle, right? A little couple of beeps at the end of it. And now we're gonna go ahead to the other side of the diaphragm. We're gonna hold the button down for three seconds. Let the cup engage again. And again, it does it automatically. This is really hard because if you know about cups, you have to pull the oxygen out of the cups or light a flame inside. It's very hard to do it on your own. And this uh, takes, takes away all that difficulty. Um, you just have to be able to reach behind your back and just apply light pressure and then turn it on. And we're gonna turn this up to the same setting as we had before, the third setting. You were okay with that, right? Yep. And it might leave little bruises or marks here for a couple days after, that's normal. As it's drawing all the toxins to the surface of the skin and um, loosening the connective tissue. So we're going to leave this here for uh, a couple of minutes and I'm just going to attach this lanyard here because if it falls off again it could break. We don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to tuck this under here for you. Okay. Is it uncomfortable at all for you? That's okay. okay. One last thing. Tell me what you think in comments below. I went to film school before I got my doctorate. I do all the writing, directing, producing, sound, editing, and the cool special effects you see here. Folks, I'm not asking for an Academy Award or an Oscar, just a simple thumbs up if you like my video. 
And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest, greatest content on YouTube. Thank you, appreciate all of you. Okay, so there are a couple kinds of cupping. There's wet cupping, which is also called bleeding. And uh, we don't do that here. Um, sometimes you'll find acupuncturists do that. Uh, this is uh, dry cupping. You can also use lotion or oil on the skin and slide or glide the cup across larger muscle groups. Uh, we're not doing that um, because I want to focus on the muscles across and near the diaphragm for him. Um, and this cup is pretty big, so it covers a pretty good size area um, for what I need. Uh, again, cupping is really effective for relaxing muscles, breaking up scar tissue, and um, preventing stagnation of blood flow. So um, you can see here, there's a little bit of a mark here from the previous one. And this one, we're going on about five minutes now. We're gonna keep it on a little bit longer. Does it feel sort of like a massage where it's suck, you know, suctioning and then releasing, suctioning and releasing? Yeah, yeah, somewhat. Yeah. And again, it's not uncomfortable. It's, um, you know, a little bit of a pinching feeling. And if you do have that on the skin, you can just rub lotion on the back and make sure you rub the lotion in really good and then put the cup on top of that. Um, you can buy cups uh, with a pump um, probably online, just about anywhere. And they look like this. So there's a cup here with a pin on the end and you put this over it and it and it draws the oxygen out of the cup. Again, you have to be able to reach behind you and, and, and do that. It's very difficult. This uh, neat little invention called the cupper uh, eliminates that and allows you to do this at home and it'll shut off after 12 minutes. That way you don't leave it on too long, uh, create problems. Um, some contraindications to cupping would be, um, you know, if you're on a blood thinner, if you're a, a geriatric on a blood thinner, uh, also the skin tends to be really sensitive for seniors. So you wanna be careful with that. Also, you do not wanna do it over an open wound or a skin lesion. Uh, that can create problems. You don't want to do it over an area um, that, you know, like a lymph node up here in the neck or um, over uh, your vertebral artery. Um, want to stay away from those areas and um, don't do it over an open wound. Uh, stitches or a cut or a scrape, you do not want to do it over those areas. Um, some other contraindications could be a fractured bone or a break. You do not want to fracture a bone and then put it right over that area. No, no. And anywhere where there's significant inflammation, like a fractured bone, you would have inflammation in that area. You do not want to put the cup over that area. Again, this is used for tight muscles, muscle adhesions, uh, muscle contractions. It helps to stimulate blood flow and um, it's really effective. And you'll notice the difference right afterwards. Very good to use along the top of the shoulders and across the back and even in the glute region and the lower back region. The other contraindication would be um, if you're pregnant. So you don't wanna use it on the stomach area and you do not wanna use it uh, on the back if you are pregnant. That is a contraindication. And then lastly, I would say if you're under four years of age, you should not be using cupping on someone that's under four years of age or maybe has a bleeding problem like hemophilia. Okay, other than that, it's really safe to use and very effective. If you guys have any questions about cupping or concerns or comments, any questions about this, I will leave a promotional code where you can get $25 off uh, of one of these cups. Um, just check in the uh, explanation or the description below and we'll leave that for you. Uh, it's a great little cup, great tool to do at home on yourself. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and thanks for the thumbs up.